Do you want a business that focuses on lending or loaning products? Then this app is ideal for you. Hi guys, welcome to App DNA where we talk about all things apps. My name is Akshay and the application that we are going to take a look at today is Loner. We'll be using Zoho Creator, which is a low-code application development platform to make this application. Let's take a look at the features of our Lona application. The application have a database which will contain information about all the products that is present in your company. It will also have a user portal where users will be able to see and take a look at all the products and will also be able to create a wish list. It will also have a form which will help you lend the products and we'll have a report which will keep track of all the products that have been already loaned out. The application will also help in calculating the rent including the overdue. The people who will benefit from this application are the owner or the manager of the company as he'll be able to keep track of everything that's been loaned out from one single place and the users will also benefit because they'll be able to create a wish list and plan and get their products accordingly. So. Without further ado, let's take a look at our loaner application. Usually we are at the create application page of Zoho Creator and we'll be creating the application from scratch. We'll name the application as loaner. So the first form is the basic form which is the add product form. Here we'll be collecting information about the product. We'll be dragging and dropping an email field to collect the user email. Then we'll be dragging and dropping a drop down field for category, a single line field for title, an image field to upload the image of the product and finally a currency field to calculate or record its rent per day. So we're done building the first form which is the add product form is the borrow a product form so that a user can borrow a product and the admin can decide whether or not to deny or approve it. Name. We'll also be collecting the email and a lookup field to collect product name, which is the title. Wish list for so that the user can add the product to the wish list. We'll name the form as. We'll be dragging and dropping a lookup field to get the product names. We'll also be dragging and dropping a multi line description. So before we start working on our workflows, we'll be adding one more field to our add product form. This time we'll be adding a status field with two options, the options being available and taken. We'll hide this particular field in the workflow so that this field is only visible in the report. The workflow that we are going to create will help us autofill all the details in the add product form. So. Let's choose the add product form and we will name our workflow as autofill email. As we discussed, we will be also hiding the status field, adding a new custom action, dilute script and on load because we need to work this custom action when the form is loading. So we have written the dilute script over here. We've given input.usermail is equal to zoho.login user ID so that the login user ID is automatically fetched over there and it is disabled so that no manipulation is possible. We are also hiding the status field so that it only appears in the report. Next workflow so that the admin gets a message that will help him decide whether to grant or deny a particular request for a particular product. So let's click on new workflow while using the form and we're going to do it on borrow a product form. We'll name our workflow as notify through email. We'll be adding a new action, dilute script and we'll be doing it on success. First line of code. So here I've given REC as a variable and we are fetching details from the add product form for the product field in the borrow a product form, which is a lookup field. So now it's time for us to drag and drop the send mail task and from address as zoho.login user id and to address as the user mail which is available in the borrow a product form and we have given subject as request to borrow and we have given here an appropriate message as well so that we will get the message with the name of the person and also the title of the product they want to borrow so let's click on save and save this particular workflow so we are done so now it's time for us to add another action and hide the status field in the borrow form as well 
we're doing a field action click on hide field and we're going to select status so let's save that workflow as well so we've done all the workflows on the forms now it's time for us to do the workflow on our report we'll be adding a new action for single record so it is important that each time a user requests for a particular product, the admin or the manager is able to grant or deny it. So we'll be naming our first action item as grant. We'll also name our workflow the same. Let's create a workflow. We'll be adding a new action, delude script. And we have to create our own function as we have not created any function in this particular application. So let's write our delude script. So what I've done here is that I've given input.status as is equal to granted. So we have already have a status field over there. So we have given it as granted. We are also fetching information from the add product form for the name of the product. And also there is status field in the add product form which will reflect as taken once. So once a product is taken or once the admin gives the granted option for that particular product's request, the status will reflect as taken in the product report. So let's click on save and save this particular action. We'll create a new item and this item will be available here. Similarly, we have to create one for denied as well. So we'll name your action item as deny. We'll name the workflow the same and we'll create the workflow. Here, everything is pretty much the same as we did for granted, but the only difference is that input.status, we'll be giving it as denied. In rec.status, it will reflect there as available instead of taken. So let's save this workflow we'll be creating the item and it will also appear here under for single records now it's time for us to add this custom actions into the report so we'll click on layout and we'll click on add fields under custom action we could see grant and deny now we are done with the workflows it's time for us to rearrange the sections based on the admin and the user Here we'll be able to add products into the database since we have disabled the user email. The login user email appears here automatically. Let's select a category. Let's give the title. Let's give a rent per day and we will be adding this into the add product form. And the user will be able to borrow the products. We can give the product here and we can click on borrow. The entry that we have given here that is we have requested for a product to be borrowed it is available here in the all products form the admin will be able to see this and the status if we click on granted will reflect as granted if we click on deny it will reflect as denied and similarly we have to so our borrow a product function is working now it's time for us to check the wish list where we, we can click on the description and we'll be able to update a description here. And if you click on submit, you'll be able to see this on my wishlist report. Also, you can add more bells and whistles to the application, such as having an email feature. Once a product is granted, the user will receive an email notification of the same. If you know, if you want to know how to set up an email notification on Zoho Creator, you can take a look at our previous videos, such as volunteer management and education management, where we have set up an email notification. You can also change the theme of the application and will also be able to share these reports across various formats so we have hit all the targets through this particular application and if you want to see a much more comprehensive loaner management application then please take a look at the one in the app deck page of zoho creator so that's it guys thank you for hanging out with me all this while if you want to take a look at a loaner application with much more features please take a look at the one in the app deck page of zoho creator and also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see much more videos like these till next time goodbye